This is Lesson 12.4, Volumes of Prisms and Cylinders. Your objectives are to find the volumes of prisms and the volumes of cylinders. Find the volume of each prism or cylinder and round to the nearest tenth if necessary. Here we have a triangular prism. The volume of a prism is the area of the base times the height of the prism. On this one, the base is a triangle. So I need to do the area of a triangle to substitute in for big B. Area of a triangle is one half base times height. But I don't know the height of the triangle. However, it is a right triangle, and I know two sides. One side is 10, and the other one here is 26. And you can do the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side. 10 squared plus, we'll use b for the base, squared equals 26 squared. So 100 equals b squared, or 100 plus b squared equals 676. Subtract 100 from each side. b squared is 576. And when you square root, b is 24. So that will go in for the base of the triangle. Half of 24 times the height, which is 10. And that's 120 meters squared. That will substitute in for big B. The height of the prism is the distance between the bases, and that will be your 17. So the total volume is 2,040 meters cubed. So the base was a triangle, had to find a side of the triangle there. So use the Pythagorean theorem and then substitute it all in. Here we have a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder has the formula pi r squared h. Well, the radius of the cylinder is half of the diameter. We know the diameter is 16, so the radius must be 8. And the height of the cylinder is the distance between the bases, which is 17.5. So the total volume of 3,518.6, and that will be millimeters cubed. So take half of the diameter to get the radius and substitute everything in.